Okay, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate what the hybrid battery slash supercapacitor bank can do. So I got a 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate 12 volt cell and uh, here we got six cells, well actually no, six, there's three cells per like bank and then there's six supercapacitor banks and they're uh, 2.85 volt by 3400 farads a piece but you know times three per cell or I mean per bank and then this is just a 1500 watt 12 volt pure sine wave inverter that's the voltage of the battery this is my overall storage for my solar battery supply. This is the same lithium iron phosphate batteries. 3000 watt inverter. Charge controller. My uh, power coming in from the solar panels is very low right now because it's like 7 p.m. Right, like 100% anyway. This is like how many kilowatts I've already saved and uh, voltage and whatnot. But that's not the main focus on this video. So, But I want to kind of show what you can do with such kind of setup. Those are my old lead acid batteries. I don't even want to mess with lead acid anymore. They're trash. But uh, yeah, we're going to use a space heater. This thing can do, I think, 1200 watts. Yeah, max power is 1200, but I think the lowest is 400. Yeah, we're going to literally attempt to do that with this. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to put this to watts. Plug this in. So, we're still at 13.5 here. Turn this on. Oh. Alright. Alright, so we're going to see what this thing can do. So this is on high, max. So it's dropping. <laughs> and we're pulling 500, 600. Still dropping consistently. Pulling a thousand watts, twelve hundred, but I'm not gonna let it go any lower, so I'm gonna drop it a setting. Seven hundred watts, eleven seventy four, still kind of dropping, so I'm gonna drop it another amount. So now we're actually at. 400 watts kind of climb back up and here's where it probably be consistent it's kind of leveling off a little but yeah here is still on 420 watts of power being put to that and we're at 1190 now, so it's climbing actually. So the battery is actually maintaining the amount of power. Pretty impressive actually. And all that power is from the battery basically. The capacitors just took the surge and it was able to do like the 1200 watt for that short duration. I uh, custom built this battery, soldered it, or I mean uh, welded it all together. 0.3 uh, millimeter nickel, but I folded it in half so I could pull a lot of current from it. But uh, yeah, my wires are only 10 gauge, so 30 amp max. I'm probably getting close to that right now or more. So I'm kind of pushing the limits on my 
wires here. My BMS is able to do 100 amps, so that's not really a problem. But more like my wires are a problem. Still running. Holding at 1190. Honestly, it's pretty impressive because we're pulling 422 watts. And we're holding steady at 1190. Pretty impressive. Not too warm. Not too warm either. Not too bad. Not too bad, but it's getting a little warm. Probably over time it would get too hot. But obviously, I should put, instead of 10, at least 8 gauge so I can pull the maximum current from these batteries because they can do 40 amps max. So that would be probably smart to put 8 gauge instead of 10. Because 8 gauge is capable of 40 amps. But yeah, still running. Still pulling 426 watts and still holding 1190. Let's go. Oh, we already did 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. Not bad. Four minutes of time. Pulling 3.5, 3.6 amps at 425 watts. 420 watts, basically. Alright, so it dropped a, a hundredth of a volt. Not too bad. But now this power setup back here can do a lot. These batteries are quite big. 200 amp hour. I have three, three of those. I have 600 amp hour at 24 volt batteries. <laughs> well, actually. 25.6 and then actually 26 and a half, 20, 26.6 volts when they're like fully charged at 100%. And then the power just goes to uh, my bedroom over there. Solar panels are outside, they're uh, three, four hundred watt panels, so most of the time I only get like a thousand to eleven hundred watts at max. But yeah, not bad. So it's kind of holding steady right at 1190. That's good. The BMS isn't hot really at all. It's just a little warm. These prongs are kind of getting a little warm now. Like a little warmer than I want it to be. That's ice cold. That's pretty much ice cold. I don't know, it's not actually not too bad. Probably could get by with that. In a pinch. <laughs> the metal tabs aren't hot at all. But the battery does feel like it's getting a little warm. But nothing serious. Yeah, there we go. Nice little hybrid system. Yeah, see it went up in voltage now. It's starting to level off more. Alright, I'll call this end. We're getting close to 10 minutes. Alright, well, thanks for watching.